The Messengers, series premiere Friday, April 17th on the CW. My fourth show is one is a show that wasn't cancelled, it just ended. But not many many people talk about it. I watched some people um, talk about it. I mean I saw some people on Twitter um, talking about it, but not many people uh, knows about the show and it's Emlock Grove. Emlock Grove is an um, original Netflix uh, series and it has three seasons I believe. It has Bill Skarsgård in it, um, also Penelope Mitchell, Penelope Mitchell? Yes. Uh, which you might know her from uh, Vampire Diaries season 6, 
that's how it's covered the show and then the show is about vampires kind of vampires it's a different type of vampires vampires and werewolves so you know that's my thing and yeah it, it's if you've already watched the originals uh, new season like season four the this this year's uh, season it had a little bit to do with it because it has the Horus Boros but it's not like that it's uh, it's quite different but it has a Horus Boros and you might might know it and yeah so Vampire Show I don't have much to talk to you about but it has some pretty weird stuff so be prepared for that I see things sometimes I hear these whispers. <laughs> what do you think it was that brought us here? The mysteries of mortality. Something was out there. Something bad. There are things that look like you and me. Smiles, beating hearts. These things are only masks, hiding the creature beneath. Do you see me as someone you can trust? There's this new kid. He's a gypsy. Those people are my business. Stay away from them. What are you? Something's going on here. You can't act like it's not. Run. Run before it's too late for you. Who else is gonna die? It's enough to give one the shivers. Another uh, vampire show, it's Dracula. Dracula, I think it's an ABC show, I'm not sure. Uh, I'll search it and I put it on the video. Um, but it's Dracula's story, you know, there's a bunch of different uh, Dracula stories, and I've already talked about the show. Um, it stars uh, Jonathan Rhys Myers. It also has uh, Katie McGarth. I think that's how she called. It, she's um, on Supergirl right now. Um, and then there's another uh, actress that I I know, but I can't remember her name. But yeah, it's Dracula's story. Basically, he was dead and someone uh, brought him back to life and then he goes to London it is set in London I believe or it's set in, in the UK uh, and uh, he falls in love with a girl that looks a lot like one of his past uh, lovers I believe and yeah it only has one season so it, you can watch it pretty quickly so yeah um, and it also it was cancelled. One of my favorite shows. Uh, my second 
underrated series is Time After Time. I still can't believe that that show was cancelled and only has 5 episodes. 5 episodes. I've already talked about this in one of my favorites, but basically it's um, a time travel type of uh, series. Uh, it is about H.G. Wells and Jack the Ripper. They come to our uh, year, like they come to 20. Uh, 17 and then everything is different from daytime uh, and Jack the Ripper like uh, wants to do whatever he wants and HL is trying to uh, capture him like uh, stop him from killing people and all that stuff but there is no end so I can tell him much about it but I recommend you to watch it anyways because it's real good. Like I, I can't, I can't. I really wish they continued with it because it was it was really good. I really, really liked it. You don't belong in this time or any time. And then my number one. Once again, I've already talked. I basically already talked about all these shows, but in different videos. But my first uh, underrated series is Frequency. Like, why, 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 why does nobody talk about Frequency? Uh, once again, Frequency is kind of a time travel uh, type of show. It, it is from the CW. Once again, uh, and it is based on one. On a movie, like uh, I didn't watch the movie, but it's from a kind of old movie uh, with the same name, I think. And it is basically about a girl that her dad died, and then on her birthday, she starts talking with him through his old radio, but she's in present time and he's in the past, and then she tries to stop him from. Uh, dying because he was kind of murdered and uh, she she can do it uh, it's not spoilers it's uh, on the first episode so yeah but uh, you know something else goes wrong because she's changing the past and yeah it goes from there um, I don't know if I've already mentioned this but it only has one season once again it was cancelled and yeah, I don't know, but they, uh, the ending wasn't quite an ending, it was okay, but it wasn't like the end of a, of a show, but the CW actually posted a 5 minute ending um, on their website, so that was good because they announced the show was cancelled and then they posted it and it was a great ending in my opinion so yeah uh, if you do watch which i recommend you to i recommend you watch all these they all have basically one season apart from Anvil grove so you can watch this like in a week basically i know i would do it but um, yeah you can watch all of these in a month <laughs> And uh, if you do watch Frequency, then go to uh, CW's um, website and watch the last like episode, five minute episode, because it makes everything better. I never told you about my father. They found his body in the East River two days after my eighth birthday. Some said his death was a tragedy. Others said he got exactly what he deserved. Last night. This is WQ2YV. Hello? I spoke to him. And yeah, guys, these are my top five underrated series. Uh, I hope you liked it. I hope I gave you good recommendations. Uh, these shows were all cancelled, but basically all cancelled. 
I can only have one season but they're still good shows, great shows and um, yeah, if you knew any of these shows let me know in the comments because then we can talk about it and we can like fun girl um, and I would like to know if there's anybody that do, does know about these shows because like they're a bit underrated um, and yeah if you like it give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and I'll see you tomorrow with a new video <laughs>